Hello, everybody. I am bringing to you once again one of my dearest friends and colleagues. This is Alana Heim. And we're both human design specialists. She's also a gene key specialist. But today, she is going to talk about remote energy healing. And this is one of the things that she does that I don't really know that much about. So I get to learn a lot too. And I decided to ask Alana today to talk about remote energy healing for businesses. Because mm. we most, I mostly think about it from a perspective of individuals. But today, let's talk about it from a business perspective. Welcome to Tuning Up to Thrive Conversations, Alana, once again. Hi, Sandra. Hi, everyone. I'm so grateful to be here and and be with you and share more about remote energy healing. And I guess the, the first thing I would say with business in general, we think of a business outside of ourselves. We think of it as this entity, this, you know, can be a structure besides uh, being an entrepreneur. Maybe you're an LLC, a corporation, but there was a heart that created the business. And I'm assuming it's probably you, right? Just like you, me talking to you right now, Sandra, or, or whoever's listening, you are the heart of the business you created, which means you are your business. And so with everything that we think we should do, have to do, need to do with business, we, we externalize and we start to pull it apart as if it's separate from who we are and separate from ourself. And I just want to remind you that there is no separation that's the illusion. You are your business and your business is you. So anytime we want to further our business, we're furthering ourselves. We're furthering that heart of what we're creating and putting into the business. And we're wanting that to ripple out and impact so many people. I know, Alana, that one of the things that I struggle with a lot is marketing. And you are always encouraging me to get back to me, who I am, what I care about. And I tend to jump off like you're talking about all this stuff that, you know, people say we need to do. I'm not the only one that does that. So what's happening energetically when that kind of stuff is happening? You're putting everybody else's genius expertise first, right? Like there's this part of us that says, I need to do this because you're telling me I should do it. And there's a part of me that says, yeah, I should do it. And then there's usually a bigger part of you that says, I don't know how to do that. I don't know where to start. And yes, I could join this program and I could do all the things that somebody's telling me to do maybe it doesn't feel aligned and we can have those very same coaches tell us that we're procrastinating or we're in fear or that we're just um, not allowing ourselves to step out and be seen. And all of those pieces are true. And yet you're not the person that is teaching you, right? The, so the person who has all the marketing skills that are going to be like, you need to get on Facebook live and you need to do this every day or every week, there's a part of you that already is not here to follow. Like you're your own pioneer, your own creator, your own leader. How do you want to lead from your heart in your business? So there are parts to try on and I'm experimental. And so are you, Sandra. There are people who aren't experimental. So it is very easy to say, okay, just tell me what to do. But you have to listen to the truth within yourself. You already know your highest self is within you to say, this feels aligned or this doesn't, or this feels exhausting or this doesn't. So when it comes to marketing, sure, there's tried and true science in some ways of here's how you get out there and you push or you market and you be visible and you have so many touch points, but are you doing it the way that your heart really wants you to do it? And so the, the thing with even me working with remote energy I have taken parts that I've learned and I am constantly creating my own way. So the way in which I do remote energy healing, nobody does it. And there are times people will say, where did you learn to do this? 
right? As if we should always think that we need to learn it outside of ourselves. And really, I've found the, the truest form of your heart wants to radiate love in the way that only you can, which is from your own creative passion or your own creative purpose or creative way of being and doing and sharing. So even for you, Sandra, marketing, right? If everyone's saying, you need to go do these. Well, you've experimented enough. You probably have an idea of what actually is fun, what is exciting, what is joyful for you. And then when you tap into that part, how much more rewarding can that be? And how much energy of love is already pouring in that your clients feel it? And they're like, I don't know what it is about this email or this post, but I really feel it. And I, I feel drawn to talk to you or connect with you or work with you. You started talking about okay. remote energy healing. So you need to tell us a little bit about what it is and how you use it with business. Yes. So everything is happening in the now and everything is already connected into the quantum field, into the infinite space. So there's a lot of different energy healing modalities we already do remotely. And so let me break down remotely is simply in my term, it's me working on you and you're in Canada and I'm in Reno, Nevada in the US and I'm not even going to be on a call with you, right? So to me, remote, it, it, even if you want to say it's like when people remote view, they actually connect to some other place or some other point in time and they can start to see it. So for me, remote is, it is virtual. It is, I am going to connect with you in the quantum field. I am not going to be on a phone call, I'm not going to be on a Zoom with you. I keep it very distance in the way of you consciously receiving what you need. Now, this is part of my creator aspect. If I'm on a call with you, you hear the words I use. You know what I'm doing. And if there's any distortion or confusion or parts of you in conflict, that say, well, I think I feel what she's doing. I think I know what she's doing. Your brain is already going to jump in and try and take command of what is actually happening in the energy session. I don't want that. I want you to truly be in your own field. I'm connecting and you can either feel and notice and have awareness mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually that something's taking place. So for me, the energy aspect is we're going to tap into your intention. So maybe there's something specific that you really are struggling with in your business. As I said, you are your business. So let's go even deeper. If you're struggling in marketing, are you struggling personally with being seen or being heard, right? What are these threads that if you personally are holding on to having challenges with, we're going to work with that. We're going to, I'm going to connect. We're going to start clearing whatever's in the way of you being seen, you being heard, spreading your message. Um, if there's judgment, if there's that fear that people aren't going to like you, all of those things are already rippling into your business and your business is playing smaller because you won't let it be bigger. So if we're tying to this theme and your intention is, I want to make a bigger impact. I want to be able to help more people. Okay, what will that take? We don't necessarily know. I mean, it could be, yep, I need to be marketing more. I need to be sending more newsletters. I need to be make, making posts. Those are all of the physical, tangible aspect. I'm going to come in to work in the energy of your physical body so maybe actually there's some, there's some wounding and I do use the human design and gene keys, as you mentioned. So there's parts of me that know you and where you might have wounding. Sandra, for example, you have a core wound in the gene keys of separation. Well, that ties to the sixth chakra and separation might be in the third eye. There may be some components of you not trusting source, trusting yourself, trusting your knowledge, trusting your knowing, trusting these parts in marketing that you know your own timing. You know exactly what you're here to do. So in the energy part of the session, 
I may actually be restructuring your third eye or making sure that it, is it open? Um, is there maybe even a DNA galactivation that needs to happen to really open you to go beyond this physical body? Maybe there's some emotions, right? Maybe there's also some mental beliefs and thoughts that are also keeping you stuck in your business and not taking action. So I do these sessions. They're always about an hour long. I am completely working in the energetic fields, going into the auric fields, going into the body itself. You know, maybe I am holding your pineal gland and, and restructuring it or bringing in certain energies. Sometimes I can bring in archangels or I'm running other protocols. And this is the fun part. I do it remotely. So let's just say if I'm using you, for example, Sandra, you know when we're going to start the session. I give you music so you can listen to it if you want. I highly recommend you lay down for that hour and really receive, right? Notice what you notice and your mind can wander. Thoughts can come in. Memories can appear. Emotions can just release and purge. And maybe there's even a part of you that feels flutters in your body or you feel the energy moving. Depends on how sensitive you are. During that hour, you don't know what I'm doing, but your super conscious and your highest self do. And even you begin to consciously connect, right? Everything's one. We're all connected. I always record the session and I give that to my clients a couple of days later with notes. And I do this so that you had your super conscious, unconscious experience. And then when you get the notes and you get the transmission, you get to listen to it. And what I've found is that, and I just had a client recently who said, I absolutely love how you do this format because I feel like everything, the, en the energies integrate and I can feel and integrate these frequencies more consciously when I then listen to it. Because here's the fun part, your body, your emotions, your mental, they already experienced on the energetic level what happened during that hour, but your mind didn't have a clue, right? And so when you get to then listen to the transmission and feel and have your body response, but have this knowing of, wow, there is a, there is a thought at this part. There is something that is purging or I've already moved through, you get to have the more conscious experience. So I, I create this. Um, nobody taught me this. Uh, I didn't go to a class or a program that said, this is how you're going to do remote energy healing. This is me. This is who I am. And I've recognized that I get to play in this space. And if there is no play, then there's no fun for me in, in this journey and in my business. And I, I want to have more of that. I love hearing when my clients tell me before they get the transmission, they were right there or they felt certain things. They felt these parts and they, it's like, they can say the things that I'm like, oh my gosh, this blows my mind. This is, that's what we did. And they were right there with it. So it, it's this journey for you to go inward to let's say clear energies that have been there for many lifetimes, maybe there are entities. And, and this is the part sometimes we have a hard time with thinking in energy terms. You're gonna have different parts of yourself that have not been awakened or an entity has constricted. So you can do all the mental reprogramming, rewiring of your mind and your neural pathways in this life, in this body, but there might be an entity that was there to help you to realize it wasn't letting you trust yourself. It wouldn't let you be seen. It wouldn't let you market yourself because it was there to hold you back. And it wasn't until the moment you finally decide, I don't need this anymore. And we free and set free this entity. We, we let it go be its own soul on its own journey. And it doesn't need to latch onto you anymore. So it's this dynamic where there's just like so many cool parts of who are you, right? And, and you're not the entity, you're not these karma, you're not the energies, but yet they can get in the way of you being you, which means it gets in the way of you being your business and letting people really see the dynamic of who you are. That's wonderful. 
So tell me, tell us the sorts of things that somebody might be experiencing that would have them contact you and then the difference that they might experience. Yeah. So I have clients with different levels. Uh, a lot of my clients are actually more 3D. So very much in business, they do have success, but what they're seeking is more of the spiritual part of themselves. They're seeking to align their energies and many of them are burning out. So when they come to me, they're feeling kind of that transition, that place where there's almost like something missing and they're exhausted and yet what they loved, it's not fulfilling them anymore. So that's where during an energy session, it can be stuff that actually doesn't even feel like it ties to their business. But like I said, everything's the thread. It's all tied. It's all one. So for example, I have a, a client, she's an attorney. And some of the stuff that we work on is between her and her partner, because what's happening in her core home life ripples into her and then ripples into her business. So it might be communication between her and her partner or some of the financial pieces where they weren't really jiving, right? And think about that. That's the same kind of thread we can have with clients, right? There, there's this program we have and yet it's missing, right? We're not communicating to really impact and reach them and have it mesh where they're like, that's what I want. So if there's something in us and in my client per se, we're going to work on that. And so maybe there was certain energies in the throat that were being cleared. Maybe there were some energies in her second chakra and her connections and what she was wanting. Um, now, when I have some of the sessions with clients too, I might work on her and her husband at the same time. And there can be those dynamics where if there is a conflict between you and a certain person, we can bring them into the session and I work on the two of you or the team of you, right? In business, sometimes our dynamics are not aligned. And if we truly want to take a business to the next level, we need everybody's intention to be there on the same path. So if that means working on the team and making sure, you know, somebody's got doubts, somebody's got confusion, somebody's got fear, we're going to work to clear those. And for my clients who are less sensitive and more 3D and they don't quite understand or understand this, they can feel the shift. And some clients actually lay down for the hour and they give that self to them. They give that time to themselves. Others actually just continue to live life. Like I still have a business meeting. I still have this, but I want you to work on me anyway. And we have their highest self install the energies that night. So there is that dance of, are you going to be present and receive and notice, or do you still want to let it be kind of, um, that energy that and everything is possible and everything is in the now and everything's happening all at once and you don't need to lay down. So some really notice and feel the energies moving. Others, the next day, they just can tell something shifted because now maybe my client and her partner, their communication is like easy. Or um, I know they had to really go into some, some depth uh, getting married. They had a lot of deep financial uh, kid conversations, stuff that's like not always easy and can take a long time. And I just, I remember her texting me and saying, oh my gosh, we're, we got through it and it only took ha like half a day. So it's, again, you can notice the duration of time shortens. Maybe if you were having pains in your body, it, it lessens, or you just feel the spaciousness. Um, I, I've also had a client she was courted. She left a job to start her business and they were just so upset. And, and, and I don't even know if it was jealous, angry, it doesn't matter, but somebody courted her. And so that is really like, almost think of it being this connection to you and you're like constantly being siphoned. Your energy is being taken from you. And so she was feeling her level of success was limited almost like they had put this blanket around her and she couldn't really explode her business. And so in doing 
an energy session by the, I don't know, I feel like it was even within days that she kind of noticed like there's, there's the spaciousness, like they're off my back. Like they're, they're not trying to hold me back anymore. And really her business is just really flourishing. So everybody's situation is different because you're the healer, not me. I'm the conduit to bring in the energy, but you are the one with all the potential, all the creation, and you get to tap in. You get to choose to see that conditions are all illusions, separation, illusion, fear, illusion, right? All these things we throw at ourselves and create ourselves, you get to unwind. And if you want your business to explode, it already has. And you get to really allow whatever you're ready for to come through. And so to me, that's what these sessions really do is we get to go into the quantum space. We get to tap into all the potential, which is everything. And um, I, I read something recently that basically said success is already guaranteed, right? Because if there's all the potential out there, Success is already the potential. And if you're already here and you're, you've already seen that success is possible, then it's already possible and it's already here and you can never undo that, right? Failure is not going to get in your way, but you can create conditions of failure. You may believe you have to fail. And so again, maybe that's something we start to flush out. We remove those imprinted programs. Um, Maybe we are coming in to uh, activate or galactivate more of your golden heart, do all these different energy protocols that a lot, a lot of them now are coming from my other selves across the multiverse, right? I'm tapping into more of my own past lives, my own gifts, my own knowing of, okay, this is, this is what's needed to clear this or allow you to heal yourself. So what you just said that the person heals themselves, but at the same time, they're not really able to do it all themselves. They need help. Both of us work with things that people are too close to be able to see about themselves and heal themselves. So Atlanta's remote energy healing is fabulous for this. Now, I'd like you to tell people about individual sessions and then group sessions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I gave you examples of some of the individual sessions. And again, this can be... Um, for you, it can be for you and your spouse or you and your family. Now I've created a group option because there are just other ways that we can all work together and really be the ripple as a team or kind of like this bigger hologram. So once a month, I have a group remote session on a Sunday. It's usually at 4 p.m. Pacific, but sometimes that changes. And I just, I look through each month to see what energies are transiting. So I look through the lens of human design and I have to say, I do have, um, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's the gift, right? It's the, it's the knowing that we have in ourselves of like, what is it that we're here to work on, but yet what's, what's coming up. And the fun part is I create these sessions about um, every six months, go through and figure out what are the themes. And then each month as it's getting closer, it's like the theme that everyone's talking about. And so I can easily say, oh, okay, well, you know, I have this session that's coming up if you want to participate it's appreciation based. So that means you contribute whatever you want to participate. And if you would like your chakras assessed, I do that before the session. So that way you can see what was open front and back um, between two and six and was your seventh and your first chakra open. Like where were they? Are there blocks? And that becomes a data point for a lot of my clients. Every month they can see their progress basically. The key is we want to hold the alignment. We want to hold the openness. And if there are things that happen in our life, situations, events, trauma, triggers, we are going to go right back to our holding pattern where energetically we defend ourselves. And that might mean if my throat chakra is blocked, by the end of the session, when you do these sessions, it's going to be fully open. But maybe next month, if we do it again, maybe it's blocked again. 
And now you can start to piece together your own timeline of what happened in between these two sessions that caused me to shut my throat down. And I have clients that immediately they're like, oh, I I know what happened. You know, I had this situation and my mother-in-law was talking to me and I just shut down. Or, um, you know, I knew I needed to speak up and I didn't. And so these are the parts of yourself you are healing. Where now maybe the next time your heart, your heart's open, your throat's open, all these parts of you start to realize, oh, I see the pattern. I can change the energy defense that I've had. And instead of shutting down, maybe I do speak up and I claim who I am and I share who I am and I be seen. That's going to impact you greatly in your business, right? Because now you're going to speak more freely. You're not going to care what people think. You're just going to know what it is you're here to say. So the chakra assessment is $55. If you don't want the chakra assessment, again, you can just contribute whatever amount that feels good to you. So you get to participate live in the remote session during the hour. I send an email. I let you know we're starting, you know, set your intention. Here's the music. At the end of the hour, I send you an an email saying we're done. We're complete. Again, you can listen to the music and participate live for the hour. You can go live life and go play with your kids or go to a movie and you're still in the hologram. And then a few days later, I send the notes. I send the chakra assessment if you did that. And I send that transmission. So you get to re-listen and have it to continue to experience And so it's fun. I know the next one I'm doing is March 10th at 4 p.m. Pacific. And that's the heart awakening because there's two heart chakra pieces in our human design charts. And we're going to have the full 2551 channel during that that moment. Um, So we're going to be, I don't know, there's something big with the heart awakening. I can feel it's, there's a bridge, um, you know, the, the channel itself is really like this death rebirth kind of cycle. So it might be something along those lines of maybe there is that business part of you, the marketing part of you. That's like, this is my ego. This needs to go. This needs to die and be reborn into spirit, into my heart opening into being seen, you get to create and set the intention for whatever it might be. And so it's, it's just a, I don't know, for me, it's super fun. It's a great way for me as a projector energy type to be able to share and connect to the grids. Um, Sometimes it is the earthly plane, the cosmic energy, connecting to humans, animals, plants, mineral kingdom, right? It's like, we're so cosmic. And the more that you recognize that you are so much bigger and more powerful and beautiful than you think you are, right? You get to start to draw all of that into you right here and now, and then ripple it out into your business and out into the multiverse, right? Making impact everywhere you go because you are the light of the world, right? And so you're here to shine. That sounds amazing. So now you need to tell people how to connect with you. Yes. My business is called Prosperity Alignment. So you will find me at prosperityalignment.com. And if you go backslash remote dash energy, it'll take you to the page that talks all about the remote energy. Um, How I do it, I think I have a video that explains it a little bit, but I've talked a lot about it here now. And then there's the dates. So I've got the dates at least through June. Um, There is another option to get a 20 minute coaching call with the chakra assessment. So that's 111. Um, You can choose that option. And I'm just going to tell you too, that this is not an automated process. So I, if I have not worked with you, I will want your birth information to run your human design chart because it gives me a sense of like who you are, what's going in. I do it old school and I get everybody's like uh, sign up, which is again, you're just creating this donation, this appreciation, and I keep you on a list. And then I am hand emailing everybody because I've just recognized if this was like some subscription program, which again, all the marketers out there would probably say, you need to make this a subscription. I wouldn't have the connection, right? You'd just be another number and you'd be in the mix. And so for me, it's, I know who's there 
you are set in the group and then I'm making sure you're included to get the emails. And so if you don't hear from me right away, if you do sign up, it's okay. You're already on my list. And I do already have the music picked out from, for March, but sometimes it's last minute. I am, I am very much in the flow. So it's not one of those things that I'm just going to know and make it all happen for the rest of the year or the, the next six months. Um, again, marketing would probably say that's what I should do, but there's a timing and there's an energy. And for me, it's tapping into, okay, if the theme is the heart awakening, what is that music that is also going to provide the healing energy for that session, for, for it to help you be in the space to receive your own healing, to be able to awaken the heart. So um, sometimes that takes a little bit, but I, since I've already got it, it's almost like, oh, I, I could get the confirmation email out pretty quickly. It's just, I, I send you also an image of the energies of the human design, right? So it's very, it's very connected, right? This isn't, you're going to be in a program and nobody knows who you are. Like I already know you're in it and um, you're included. And there is that part that if there's something specific that I feel in my own body or just feel like, oh, I'm doing this, I never know why. And maybe it really is you have a throat issue or sometimes, you know, I've worked in the, the pancreas or, you know, and maybe somebody's having some blood sugar issues. You know what I mean? It's like, if there's something specific, though, you can absolutely let me know and we can see how or when or, you know, allow that to flow, too, so that if you want some of that personal energy work in a group session, it's there. And then absolutely, if you wanted your own private session, I mean, game on. You either tell me what you want to work on. I have some clients who don't. And I get to then intuitively work in the body. And that's the fun part. That's almost the confirmation for me when they're like, oh, I can't believe you were working on my right ankle. Like I actually broke that, you know, when I was younger. So being able to receive whatever it is you're ready for, that's the biggest piece. Fabulous. Okay, so what is one final message that you want to leave everybody with? <sighs> you are the heart of yourself, your business, the world, of creator, of source, of God, right? You're connected to that infinite love, that unconditional love. Make sure that you're starting here to allow it to be here, rippling from within you. And, you know, whether it's because it's like we just had Valentine's Day and everyone gets stuck in February and love, we think love's this external thing right? This part outside of us that we need to get. And it's not about getting, it's about being, right? Be the love, be the love, fill yourself up with the love and let that ripple out. And if you look at it from the lens of your business and where things are hard, where are you making it hard? Because you're not loving your abilities or loving yourself, or you're pushing yourself to do things you don't want to do. Give yourself the love, appreciate, and recognize that's a no, and it's okay to say no. It's okay to do your business the way you want to do your business. And as we continue to shift more into this fifth dimensional heart space world, we are all going to be creating things we've never seen before. So trust that. Yay! That was wonderful. Thank you so much, Alana. And for those of you who watch this, thank you for watching. Definitely connect with Alana. Her contact information is going to be connected to this video. So thank you, everybody. Yes, thank you. I love you. <laughs>